Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how you can easily build yourself such a holographic magnetic field viewer. And here underneath I have just a big neodymium magnet and I will just give you a quick demonstration before the tutorial of how the field itself looks like. So what you see here is a real holographic view of the magnetodielectric field that you see underneath this viewer. This is the side view of the magnet and if I just rotate it around a bit like this you can get a really good idea of what this looks like. Of course in person this looks even better than on video. And you can already see these different colors ranging from uh, yellow on the left side to red to green to blue and then black. These are different field strengths that are expressed in different colors. So I will just show you quickly a chart from this field viewer. As you can see, the lighter the color, the weaker the Gauss rating, and the stronger the field, the darker the Gauss rating. Uh, yeah, the, the darker the color, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, this is just to give you an idea of how this field viewer works. So now that you've seen a quick demonstration of this, I will also just quickly show you some different magnet arrays like this. And just to give you an idea of that you can uh, view any kind of fields underneath this field viewer. And you will get a real interesting um, yeah, field that you can see. Also this is a circular Halberg array. As you can see, when I just rotate it underneath, um, yeah, you get a really nice view of it. So, that was just a quick demonstration. Now I will show you how you can build such a field viewer. So, let me add in some light so you can see it better. So, um, first off, I will just take this plastic frame that is 3D printed. So you will need this. The 3D printing files are of course in the video description. You can just download it and print it. This piece can be printed in one piece without any supports. So it's a quite easy print. And yeah, after you've printed this, just take an LED strip and place it inside here. And I used a battery powered LED strip, so this is just powered with um, three AAA batteries in this battery compartment and has an on and off switch. And I've designed the holder so it can just fit this battery compartment inside the handle quite nicely. And then you just take a rubber band like this. This is 32 millimeters in diameter and 15 millimeters wide and strap it onto the handle just like I did here with multiple rubber bands so it looks nicer. You just need one or you can also just use uh, some tape to hold it in place if you don't have a rubber band. And yeah, that is basically how the battery compartment is held. And now for the LED strip itself. You just take this LED strip and place it in a circle inside here, just like this. And as you can see, the LED strip in this case is a bit too long, so you just cut it off right here so that it fits nicely in place and it's long enough but not too long. You can of course cut these LED strips after each LED. So the length is quite variable and these LED strips come with some adhesive on them. There is a protective film over it to protect the adhesive, but I think the adhesive that is on here is quite weak. So I just used some super glue and put it inside here and then put the LED strip on it and it will hold it much better and it will stay in place and not come loose again. After you have mounted the LED strip in the battery compartment, you just take an acrylic sheet. This is just acrylic glass, a round sheet. 
that is 150 millimeters in diameter and 2 millimeters wide. This is not necessary for the effect to occur or for the field view to work. This is just, I put it right here, um, to keep the field view, which you can see is thin and quite flexible, to keep it straight in a straight plane so it can't move. Um, with an earlier prototype I just taped the field viewer on the corners to the frame and didn't use any acrylic sheet but then as you add the magnet on here it will just, yeah, it is, as it is so thin and flexible it will flex and this is not the best for viewing the field because as you can imagine if you bend this a bit the field will get distorted and the light from the LEDs also won't reach the center very good. So for the best experience just use any type of glass or acrylic glass and put it on there. The housing is designed to fit a 150mm um, sheet. And you just put on this surface here some glue and attach the glass on here, wait until the glue dries and then you're basically finished with it. And the last step is just take the field view, it has a greenish side, this is where you see the field, and it has a black side, you don't see anything here, so you put it on here like this with the black side facing the bottom, and just take some clear tape and place it around the edges here. Make sure that you get everything covered so no dust can get in between the field viewer and the glass. I can just show you how I did it on this one. As you can see I just used some clear tape to yeah, hold it in place and seal it off. And this is basically how you build such a field viewer. It's quite easy to do, you don't need much materials. and. I will put some links in the video description where you can buy all of the stuff I used and also I will sell this as a whole assembled device like this for those who don't want to build it themselves or who don't have a 3D printer you can find it in my shop, the link is also in the video description so yeah I hope you enjoyed this and just build it yourself let me know if you built it, what you think of it the comments so thanks for watching have a nice day and goodbye